Thoughts on Chihuahuas? Uh, I'm not a fan. Not a fan of ankle biters. Are you going to have AKs for sale on your site soon? Um, maybe. I think we're going to have a small run of Warfighters soon. Um, we had them from the move, but we couldn't finish manufacturing them until we had the FFL squared away. How much do the AKG Warfighters cost? I don't know how much we'll sell them for this round. Um, so the AKG Warfighter... Um, it's it's basically it's a seven so it's a seven six two gun uh, done up with a uh, tango down pistol grip, very nice zero code. Obviously we we build them with love and care, um, with a fourteen and a half inch barrel with a pinned and welded JMAC Customs uh, RD four C chemo break, um, which is basically built for it's suppressor ready. It's built to accept a a, a dead air uh, Sandman. Uh, kind of uh, suppressor. It also has a JMAC uh, GBC-13 gas block combo. So it's a gas block front sight block combo uh, with the brake at the end pinned and welded in place so it's 16 inch. So it's uh, legal, not a not an SBR. And it also has an Ultimac up top. So pretty cool build, pretty cool build. I don't know if, I don't know what they'll run for. If I had to guess, I think now current climate and everything, probably like 18, 1900, something like that. We'll, we'll figure it out. Um, I'll have to check, see what the current prices are on things. What did I do before YouTube? I did real estate. I, uh, I sold real estate and I was a law student before I decided I fucking hated that world and I wanted to try the gun world. And uh, things have been good, things have been good. Uh, any advice on suppressing an AKMS? I have a psycho hybrid, but I'm not sure how well the ASR system will work on an AK. Or is it worth, in, or worth investing into a Wolverine? Yeah, if you're gonna try to keep it classic, absolutely invest in a Wolverine. The Dead Air Wolverine is, uh, and I, I will go on record saying this, right now, currently in the United States, the Dead Air Silencers Wolverine is the best AK suppressor if you're not trying to do crazy shit. Like, if you're not trying to do barrel work to your gun and uh, do, like, concentric threads or, like, send it to a gunsmith to make sure you get, like, perfect suppressor-ready can, uh, cans uh, that's all concentric so you can mo use modern suppressors and whatnot, uh, the Wolverine is by far the best. So if you're just like trying to slap on a suppressor onto like a Wasser or uh, anything like that, uh, Dead Air uh, Wolverine is where it's at. PSA AKs, yes or no? Um, yeah, resounding, eh. Not terrible, not great. Yeah, distracting. Difference between AS Val and a VSS? Um, essentially just the stock. Instead of a wood stock, like a thumb hole stock, you've got like a, uh, a folding stock and a pistol grip. Dishka? Oh, I'd love to. Uh, I'm wor <laughs> working on the Dishka thing. I don't know if it'll happen or not, but I'm looking. Was Giga as hot in real life as he is on YouTube? Always. Giga is a sexy YouTube mother lover, if I've ever seen one. PKM? I've got three parts kits for PKMs right now. Now that we've got a, uh, now that our FFL is taken care of, and our, uh, like as far as moving the FFL, and the uh, we have a blast cabinet and everything for rewelds. I think we're gonna try our hand out of PKM soon. We'll see. No promises, but I'll do, I, I want one. I'll, we'll try our best. DP twenty seven. Yeah, that's in the cards. I think it's a DPM. DP twenty eight. Any pe plans for a bison? Um, yeah, if I can get one from uh, Kitan, that'd be pretty cool. Is the VSS select fire? It can be. Uh, my current one, my, the one that I own is not. Just because the ammo is too fucking expensive. Can you comment on your experience shooting an MP7, please? Yeah, I've shot a couple of MP7s. Uh, and to be honest, Donut, um, cover your ears. I don't like them all that much. They're cool. I would love to own one. Like, they're cool just because you can't get them. But they're, uh, I don't know. They're, they're, they're high recoil considering how small of a round it is. It's kind of funny. What's, what's the mounting system that you have on your wall? It's Galatech. Um, love those guys. Uh, they give me a lot of shit, but I also just get impatient and buy a lot of shit because it's really good. I've got uh, this whole Galatech wall set up all over here in the room, and I've got one set up on uh, at the shop. Are you happy? Do you like what you do? Well, that's a little fucking existential. Um, I would say mostly, yeah, for the, for the most part, and everybody's got their ups, ups and downs. I think that's like, that's okay. That's the human condition, right? But no, I, 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 most often I like what I do. And there are definitely some moments where I will 
take a step back and just kind of look at like what I'm doing and say like, wow, this is very, it's a cool, cool opportunity. Like I'm, I'm out of all the ways my life could have turned out. I'm not upset that this is where it went. Can you make the baby Mo's in IRL? I, 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 <laughs> is PSA a good place to get my first AK? Ah, oh, man, did you... Buy once, cry once, man. My, my, my recommendation for a first AK is always Arsenal. It's always Arsenal. And um, if you can't afford Arsenal, like, you absolutely can't afford it. There's people who can't afford Arsenal, and then there's people who, like, legitimately can't afford Arsenal. Um, I'd go for a, um, a Wasser, if you can find it. I think those are, those are decent. I have a Wasser, and it's always been entry-level and baseline to me. Yeah, that's basically what it's made for. Why Arsenal over Kalashnikov USA? One, you can actually get them. Kalashnikov USA hasn't produced guns, like, very many guns at all. You'd be surprised how few guns they've produced. Um, not that they're bad. I, I, I have a lot of friends over there, but, like, they just... I mean, their, their production capacity is so low. Um, <clears throat> but Arsenal... It's because it's actually Bulgarian Arsenal. Like, it is the Arsenal that you think of uh, when you come to, like, good AKs, so. How are you enjoying Texas so far? Dude, I fucking love it. Thoughts on the new Springfield Hellion rifle? Um, yeah, I don't really care about it, to be honest. Not my cup of tea. Bullpups in general, not my thing. Opinion of the Zastava M76. Uh, kind of a cool piece of history. Uh, I, I, I own one. I just need to get it refinished. Uh, I want to do a video on it, too. Have you ever played Rust? No, I haven't, and I don't want to. <laughs> it looks like an addicting game. Have you ever shot a uh, 950 JDJ? Uh, no, I never have. Um, there's only, like, like what, five in the country? Like, there's only five that were ever made. People are like, oh, do this 950 JDJ. And like, yeah, but no. Like, those don't exist, really. It's not an actual caliber that was really made. It was like a joke, I think. I, I uh, inherited a SAR-8 in 5.56-223. I don't know much about it. It seems to be in pretty good condition. Is it a POS? No, actually, it's a, it's a neat little gun. The Romanian SAR series, especially like uh, some of the other exotic, like the SAR-2s, SAR-3s. They're, they're, they're guns that are just gen, that genuinely, genuinely different. Um... It's kind of like AKM style AKs, but for like AK seventy four cali calibers. All right, what are, what are we doing? Yes, but how do I get Zenit furniture without giving my kidneys? Stop being poor. <laughs> Seriously, like even for me though, like even for me, that sounds douchey. Zenit is expensive. <laughs> it's just, yeah, yeah, it's hard to get. It's expensive over there, but especially like having to get it, you know, shipped over here and everything. Like, it's highly sought after. A lot of people want it, and. Uh, Every gun that I've ever like Zenit fucked completely, like do the B thirty three rail, like the B ten, like the lo or the the long Zenit handguards and everything. They always cost like the the furniture itself costs at least over a grand, some like fifteen hundred. Like it's 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 expensive. Like Zenit code do be kind of pricey. Between an AK one hundred seven and an AN ninety four, which one do you want more? I feel like the AN ninety four is a little bit more exotic. Um, we might have things in the works to begin to start working our way into doing a video with something that is in the same ballpark as an AK-107. But we'll see what we can do. That That's where you get into like some really exotic shit that's in, like pretty much literally impossible to get here. So we will see. Full auto VSS when. Uh, when fucking 9 by 39 comes down to the planet the rarest mags you got. Nothing impressive over there. Uh, I've got some Russian, well, I just here on my desk, I think. Go. <laughs> Dead soldiers. Um, I've got a uh, Russian puff gun, uh, transparent, bitchy ass mag, which is pretty cool. The, um, I don't know, I don't have anything crazy exotic on my desk, I don't believe. See what I have here. Oh, actually, this is pretty cool. This is just literally what's on my fucking desk. 
Uh, another puff gun. It's a Russian made um, Vepper 308 magazine. So, uh, the kind of more tactical 20 rounder um, AK style 308s. So, that's pretty neat. And I just think it's neat. It's pretty neat. Oh, you know, I've got these. I've got a stack of loaded. Um, these Arsenal 5.56 mags, like for the Sam 5. So, Circle 10. I've got quite a lot of them. These things have become impossible to find, the transparent ones. They're like super sought after now. Like, they're like 100 bucks a piece. I got those from a friend for a good deal. Goddamn, we're spawning in quick. Yeah, I got that good internet. Um. Full auto Mosin a gaunt build when? Well, um, as soon as you realize that doesn't make any fucking sense. Is AK-50 going to be full auto? If I answer this a shitload, no. Um, definitely not built to be an automatic rifle. It's a fucking 10 round magazine, and it'll take you for a fucking ride. So, no, that makes no sense to be full auto.